Good afternoon one and all. Welcome to the video. My name is Somal Chai. In this video, I would be guiding you basically right from scratch how to deploy your Flask or any application that is a Docker application on Amazon AWS EC2 instance. Right from scratch, I'm gonna show you everything in detail, okay? So without wasting much of time, let's get started with this video. So here you can see I have a very simple Flask application which uh, has a route called as foo. When I go to the route, basically, it does basically uh, print hello world. I have Nginx for load balancing, basically. Uh, I'm using w, uh, WSGI, which basically creates multiple instances of my Flask API. So I'm gonna deploy all of these and store, uh, show you the best practices, basically. So guys, what are you waiting for? Let's get started without wasting this video. All right, so I'm on my Amazon AWS. I've already logged in. So let's create a new instance. So I'm gonna click on launch instance. All right, so I'm gonna click on Ubuntu, right? So um, I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna click on, uh, I'm just gonna review it. That looks good. Click on the next button right there. Number of instances one, okay. Everything looks good, okay. Uh, next. Uh, so size eight gigabytes is more than enough, right? Everything looks good. Next, add groups. Um, next, configure groups. Uh, looks good. Um, let me actually. Yeah, I was actually wanted to look um, my IP. Uh, I thought of like. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, I wanted to limit it to all traffic, but it's fine. Let me see, all, all traffic, yep. So all traffic, uh, make sure you do that. Uh, review and launch. T2 micro, looks good. Launch, we wanna create a key pair. I'm gonna say sawmill, sawmill docker, okay. Download key pair. And my EC2 instance has been created. So I'm gonna take that on the folder. Let's click on launch instance. I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna create a folder. Call this Docker YouTube. Paste my keys here, right here. All right guys, that's done. Let's see the instance. It's still creating. Let's go to view instance. I'm 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 kind of decent at uh, Linux nowadays because I've been working a lot with Linux, so <laughs> so that's what it is, guys. Practice makes you perfect. You you see what I'm saying? So all right. So meanwhile, that has been creating uh, create. Uh, so once it's uh, still it's init initializing, what I'm gonna do is basically in order to SSH, I can't use the PEM key. I need to use Putty Gen. You can download Putty Gen. Putty Gen. Click on load. I'm gonna go to my desktop, I'm gonna go to that folder, desktop, go to that folder, which is uh, Docker YouTube. Click on all files, select the PEM files, okay, save as private, yes, um, name the file, uh, sawmill docker new, I'm gonna save it in the same folder. All right, so that's done, that's my um, PPK file, so for my SSH, and sure enough, my server is ready. So click on here, click on actions, click on connect. Uh, I'm gonna copy the name. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. So yeah, that's what it is, guys. Practice makes perfect. Buddy, paste your here, um, the domain name, go to SSH, go to auth, go to browse, go to that folder, select the PPK file. Oh, hold on. Uh, so, desktop, what was that? YouTube, Docker? What was the name of the file? Oh, Docker YouTube. <laughs> so, i new PPK. Let's just search into the server. All right, let's get started, guys. We are in. All right. So, now we are in. Now, I have a nice command. I'm gonna list it on GitHub. So, don't worry, guys. Everything is there, okay? So, I'm gonna just paste command. Source command, sudo apt-get update. So, update the server. All right, done. I have everything uh, for you, okay? So don't need to worry. So second command, install. Yes. 
third command done okay fourth command done okay oops what the hell <laughs> fifth command sixth command yes now install docker compose see how easy it is you know people make it just complicated i mean it's pretty easy now to do stuff i mean so let let it install guys uh, should be done in a couple of minutes so docker is installed docker compose install that so our server is up and ready for uh, to basically install docker now docker container let me put this down put this down that's my rest api see so yeah, i'm going to use all the tools and get it done quickly right so let me make sure i'm going to my docker file uh one change i got to make in the yaml file is uh the version should be 3.2 i guess 3.3 okay that's all now see how am i uploading files on the server filezilla so i'm going to go to file uh i actually forgot to one setting settings uh sftp remove add file i'm not sure this was the one maybe yeah i think so desktop let's go to docker desktop uh, docker youtube the ppk all right so that's done um now we need the ip address so let's go back here i can try that one oh that's actually uh the ip address um should be fine i don't know uh okay press okay port 22 what is the username uh, i don't know let's try out i think i won't be able to connect it oh yeah there you go guys <laughs> that was easy right so now i just need to deploy my docker right so see how easily i'm doing stuff okay with like piece of cake so uh, one sec show folder ls so this is where i'm going to dump stuff <coughs> excuse me uh, my docker right so these are all the my files right so come here take this drag it here so now it's copying on the server directly you see things are easy you know there are so many good softwares to help you i mean it should not take much time nowadays to deploy or start stuff so now i just got to find where exactly is that uh where where did it, where did i copy that's the um, let's try home Yeah, there you go. CD my Docker. What the hell? All right, so CD my Docker ls. Now use Docker compose compose up. Oh, sorry, build. Oops, could not connect to the daemon. Hold on, something gone wrong. It's a non-standard location. Specify the URL, Docker host environment variable. Could not connect to the Docker daemon. Hmm, hold on. Docker. Let's see Docker. Okay, so that's there. So Docker compose. Could not connect to the Docker daemon at HTTP Docker whatever X Y Z is running. Okay, I think something. Let me just check Docker Compo. Okay, so that's also there. I think I have just one issue. Uh, let me just make sure. Give me one sec. I just want to make sure this version because sometimes this version is a little cra crazy. So, uh, want to make sure that this is the right version. I think it was three point two, I guess. 
let's try um, uh, um, nano. YAML So docker compose You know what, let me try this There you go, like a charm. So 3.2 guys, okay, 3.2 uh, yeah, it's easy. Everything, uh, same thing. So this is deploying my application right now on AWS. Of course, I'm gonna destroy this after the tutorial. Let it compose, let it make. It's doing all this job, creating the Flask app. It's downloading the Alpine operating system, doing all the requirements.txt, stuff like that. Yeah, same thing, easy. Oops. Yeah, so right now it's starting the Nginx server. Um, I mean, it's installing all of that WSGI and stuff like that. So so if you haven't watched the part one of this video that, that was regarding the architecture, how I designed it, the code and stuff, everything is there on my first part. This is the second part, like the deployment part on AWS, how to deploy your Docker containers on AWS, right? So yeah, everything looks good. So it's doing all its dependencies and stuff like that. Uh, should be done. All right, now let's run it, guys. Docker, compose, up. Oops, could not connect to the Docker. D <laughs> Come on, what the hell? Sudo doc, sudo docker compose up. There you go, guys, look at this. So we created mul multiple instance, Nginx is working, WSCGI, here you can see. Now let's try it out. Uh, where is the public IP? That's the private IP. I always get confused when it comes to IP address. I'm like, ah, uh, should I use? <laughs> okay, which I? Where is the IP? What IP do I have to use? This is always the confusing part. Is it this one? I, mean, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, what was that? Foo. I don't remember the route exactly. I, I'm sure this, this is not the route. Uh, let's see. So the route is foo, okay? All right, that's not the IP I'm very sure because it did not work. Come on, what's the IP address? Uh, oh yeah, public IP. Public IP. Public IP. Hey, look at that guys, you just got it, right? Look at this, load balancing everything. Look at this, look at this. So we deployed the Docker stuff. Um, if I keep running, so it's gonna switch to multiple cores, here you can see. Um, so right now it's a PID one. So everything, Nginx, everything state of the art, pretty fast. So here you can see it is also switching cores. Like it created multiple instance of my API if a lot of requests are coming inside. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If so, do give a like. And by the way, all the codes and all the all the links, basically. By the way, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. By the way, all the code and everything would be there in the description section below. I would basically link all the commands that I use to install all of these. For example, all of these commands, right? I'm gonna make sure that everything is there in the either my GitHub or on my LinkedIn post. So hope you have enjoyed it. If so, do give a like. And if you have any more questions, please list your questions in the comment section below. And as usual, keep smiling, keep coding, and see you guys in the next video.